Hey guys, I'm sure that if you've ever been in university, you know the struggles that exist there, like balancing your social life. We're talking about the food, guys. Finances. The late night studying. Existing on a whole. Just the university life in general. I'm Janiel Powell. And I'm Khalil Wall, and welcome to the NCU, NCU Survival, Survival Guide. Guide. I really don't know what else to do. How can I make this money work for me? Having trouble with your finances? Yeah, and it's like, if I don't overspend, I spend money on things that I don't even need. Sounds like you could use some tips on money management. Definitely. Well, the first thing you need to do is create a budget. Having a plan ahead of time will help you know what you can and can't afford. You know what? Let's take over. Whoa, whoa, bro. You really need to track your spending. Take a note of everything you spend on so you can have a general idea of where your money is actually going. Also, be sure to take advantage of the discounted and free services offered on campus. The last and most important tip is to separate your wants from your needs. On a typical college student's budget, it's wiser to purchase the things you really need and leave the things you want for a special occasion. Thanks for those tips, guys. Now I'll definitely be able to manage my money better. Thanks. Awesome. No problem. See you next time. We are here at the newly renovated Four Points Cafe and Deli. I'm your host, Tashana Sims. Today, we have only two questions for you. Did you know that the newly renovated Four Points Cafe and Deli was open? And what do you think about the setting? Come on, let's check it out. Did you know that the Four Points Deli and Cafe has been opened? Well, unfortunately, I'm just now finding out that it is actually formally open. Yes, I, I was aware. Did you know that the newly renovated Four Points Cafe and Deli was open? No. Actually, I had no clue it was open, which was very surprising to me because after it has been closed for such a long time, I kind of expected, you know, the university to have a big official opening for it. But just this morning, as I was waiting to use the ATM, I realized that there were persons in here. So I'm happy to see that it's finally open. So what do you think about the setting? Actually, I think the setting is quite nice. This is the first time that I've come in here. It's cool, relaxed. The color scheme is nice. It's my favorite color, so I'm biased, brown. And I think this whole feel of, you know, the rustic feel, I think it's elegant. So I guess I'll be buying more food over here. It just looks like a very affluent place. It looks much more um, upscale, it looks expensive. It gives a type of feel, it looks classy. I don't know, it just doesn't look like a school, a typical um, school eating place. It looks more like a restaurant type of thing. I think it's really nice how they laid out the place. It it has a nice ambience to it and a chill vibe. There's variety in terms of what you can eat, so anyone will be excited about that. It looks like a brand new restaurant yes. that, that's in one of those upscale communities. It's it's very pretty. Well, I didn't I know about it. I didn't know it was open, but I was passing there today and something smelled good. Okay, so does that do, does that mean you're excited to go and see? what you smelled of course i am excited i can't wait so there you have it guys the students and facilitators have spoken and based on the responses given it can be therefore concluded that the four points cafe and deli is indeed a place where you can just go and chill and relax and voila vibes now guys that's it for 
what's the biz and coming up next is university vibes university is an academic institution of higher learning but as the saying goes all work and no play makes jack or jill a dull boy or girl this is why ncu's social events team has created several events for students to have fun and de-stress on October 25th, NCU students had a super califragilistic espialidocious, that means awesome time, at their annual Culture Vibes concert. There were special performances from third and fourth place Rising Stars winner DL and Antonia. However, the excitement didn't end there. There was speed painting, saxophone playing, choir singing, and a holy parade. <laughs> on November the 1st, NCU students had their very first water social entitled Aquaventure, courtesy of the United Student Movement, of course. Students came out in their numbers to enjoy the fun, the food, and the festivities. There were water slides, pools, holly powder, paint, and water balloons. Even though it was 19 degrees Celsius that night, that didn't stop anyone from having fun. To add to the list of fun and exciting events hosted on NCU's campus, NCU Weekend Alive lit the place on fire with all its amazing performances on November 8th. Here are the major upcoming events that you need to be at. November 15th, Honors Convocation. November 17th, USM Social. November 22, Last Weekend Alive. November 16th to the 19th, USM Chapel Weekend. And December 3, Less Stress Day. Well, that's it for University Vibes. See, See you at, at the, the next, next event. event. Well, that's it for today's show. I hope that you got some good tips how to feel empowered to push through your university life. So come join us again. Same time. Same place. For the NCU, NCU Survival, Survival Guide. Guide.